Welcome to Service Dog Class 14's graduation. I'm Cheryl Herman, the, the Assistant Director of Programs. At this time, I'd like to invite the Girl Scouts to the stage for the Pledge of Allegiance. Audience attention. Please stand and remove all hats. Color guard attention. Graduates, the flag will be passing down the center aisle and the flag will be posted on the left. Color guard advance. Color guard, post the colors. Color guard, salute the colors. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Color Guard, dismiss. Please be seated. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Graduates, you've worked hard to get to this stage. It takes a village to put teams on this stage, and it isn't small. Staff, admin, maintenance, nursery and kennel techs, vet department, canine development, trainers and incarcerated trainers, thank you for your endless work. Thank you to Provider Food Services and Visiting Angels for keeping our clients happy, well-fed, and comfortable. Volunteers, thank you for being the backbone of the mission. Breeder hosts, thank you for housing and caring for our broods and studs. We have four new brooder, breeders that have entered our breeding colony and I'd like to congratulate and thank their raisers. Dulcie, raised by Jessica Jones. Easel, raised by Tina Bradford. Faith, raised by Pam and Bob English. Gigi, raised by Vanessa Monroy. Area leaders. Thank you for being the first point of contact for puppy raisers. Puppy raisers, thank you for your endless love work and work with each and every puppy. No matter what path your puppy has chosen, service or guide or pet, you, uh, your dog has still made a difference in somebody's life. Those of you who are not puppy raisers, we need raisers. You should have a puppy. <laughs> We have several litters that will be ready to go out in the fall to start the puppy raising journey with you. Our next orientation for puppy raisers is August 12th. At this time, I'd like to invite Russell Gitlin to the stage. Are you guys mad at me today? I didn't get a round of applause today, huh? <laughs> Well, a lot, lot going on as usual. Um, about two weeks ago, I guess, or a week or two ago, we got to go down to the prison to see how everything's going and visit with them on what we, we're calling the beautif what, they're, what they're calling the beautification project. And what it is is, if you go into the prison down at RJD, it's just it looks like a, a baseball diamond, but there's not much going on there. It's just kind of dirt. And the prisoners there came up with this idea. They really they really love their dogs there, and they'd like a, a nicer 
greener space for the dogs to be able to relieve the dogs properly, to teach the dogs properly. Um, water fountains gets hot, to, gets hot out there, although they're very good about making sure the dogs get enough water and so on and so forth. But we want to do, um, we want to put some lixits in out there and so on and so forth. And they got me involved. They asked me to see if we can, if we can come up with uh, AstroTurf and we can sponsor the AstroTurf piece of it. And uh, of course, we jumped right in. And Deborah Grossman, who's here, um, went to work immediately with her grant operation. And she found uh, 16,000 square foot of AstroTurf that they're going to donate to uh, to this project. So we're pretty excited about that. Um, how about a big round of applause for them? They find that uh, they, they they find that the dogs bring a real calmness to the yard, and not only that, but uh, you know the reoff the reoffending rate of folks that go through our program uh, in prison and come out is very low. It drops it drops real low. So when these folks go to prison, it, it isn't just a situation where you you put folks in prison and you forget about them. You really you, you, we really should work on rehabilitative programs so when they do come out. They, they're, they're not just, they don't just reoffend and end up right back in, and I kind of believe in that, and that's the TLC and GDA um, are part of that, and I'm proud of that. It's sort of like one of those things that happened when we merged that I didn't expect that I would like so much, but I really do like. Of course, along with today, which is why we're here, which is class 14, and we have some veterans and we have some children, we have some folks with children with autism, and I think you're going to find that uh, when you go home, um, I think that some of the veterans have already found out, and I think that uh, the parents of children with autism, as you go home and you see the immediate uh, response that you'll get from your children, children that didn't really want to go outside, that, that didn't want to go to dinner, I think now they're, you're going to find they're going to want to go shopping with you and go to dinner with you. They're going to want to be with the dog. They're going to want to show their dog off to their friends. Um, it's just going to open up a whole new world for you. And the veterans that, you know, kind of... Uh, you know, it gets a little lonely out there, and I think that you'll find that uh, that that this this new partner of yours is going to make a big difference in your life. And I'm looking forward to the stories. I've already talked to you guys. I'm going to be calling you guys to go to events and so on and so forth. So don't be surprised if you get a call pretty quick. So, how about a big round of applause for this class? They worked hard. My wife and I, 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 I talked her into going to the Corpius K-9. You guys, a lot of you guys donated money to the Corpius K-9, so I appreciate it. And what the Corpius K-9 was, it was uh, a motorcycle ride uh, brought on by the Machinist Union. And they do quite a bit of miles. They usually do around 1,200 miles. Well, this year, we raised money. We went out to Maine. We did the four corners of Maine. It was about 350 miles a day. My wife, towards the end, told me she's never doing it again. Um, but we did it. Uh, we had good weather. We saw a lot of pretty interesting things. Maine's a beautiful state. Um, and they raised, the machinist raised about $90,000 to date. So that's a big round of applause for them. I want to congratulate a couple of my employees that are here today. Um, Greg Steinmetz is an employee here, and he's just done a bang-up job with admissions. We promoted him to manager of admissions. How about a big round of applause to Greg? And let me correct that. That's senior manager. So, And then Hannah. Hannah's been, you got a lot of you guys know Hannah. You work with her with the pups. Um, how about that? Uh, she's been promoted to, to manager of admissions and graduate services. She's going to be working uh, hard to, to, to make sure that uh, these folks are the right folks getting matched up with the dogs. How about that? How about a big round of applause for him? It's always been my pleasure to acknowledge various sponsors that support each of these graduating classes. And today, we would like to thank two of our puppy sponsors. Susan Hoffman, a puppy raiser from our West Side group, has sponsored numerous puppies and today is thrilled that her sponsored puppy, Opie, has successfully graduated a service to, as a service dog. Susan, unfortunately, could not be here today as she is on a trip to Alaska. However, she asked us to pass along the following. I'm sorry I couldn't be here for graduation, but I'm honored to have played a small part in Opie's transition from an impossibly cute puppy to a well-trained service dog. Sponsoring puppies is great and I highly recommend it. You get to share in the adventure and the glory of raising a puppy without doing any of the work. <laughs> I want to congratulate Diana on the great job she did raising Opie. I love the uh, progress reports I received from her, particularly the one set 
to music from The Andy Griffin Show. I know Opie is going to become an important part of his new family, and I wish Beth and her family many years of happiness and new experiences with Opie. How about a big round of applause? And if there's one thing I know, she's dying not being here, because she, she really does love our program. I also want to take, thank uh, Faye and Gary Waldman for their sponsorships of Bozen, Service Dog Bozen. Faye volunteers in our nursery, so she doesn't just uh, sponsor, but she's also a volunteer in our nursery. And she and Gary have sponsored several dogs, and they are very happy that Bozen is graduating today. I believe they are here with us today. I'd like, I'd like to, Faye and Gary to join me on stage, perhaps, and even share a few words, perhaps. Faye, Gary, come on up. So from Guide Dogs America, Tender Love and Canine, we'd just like to present you with a little token and, of course, your certificate for Bozen. How about we get a, oh, a, a big round of applause, huh? Of course, um, my sister-in-law is very involved here and I came to, with her one day to a graduation and I went home and I said to Gary we're going to sponsor a dog and we um, Bosun was our third and we have a new puppy now his name is Hawkeye I think he's here he's back there <laughs> is he the one making all the noise <laughs> And um, we're just thrilled to be a part of this, and I think it's just an amazing organization. And thank you very much thank for you. this. Uh, this is the first event that uh, I've attended here. Uh, I've only been on the premises uh, once. I'm overwhelmed. Uh, thank you for your recognition. Had I any idea, I would be here, I would have considered shaving, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. But thank you again. We also have two class donors to acknowledge. Puppy sponsors support a puppy from eight weeks when it goes home with its puppy raisers until it returns to campus for formal training at 18 months. If unfortunately their pup is career changed, these pup sponsors are then referred to as class donors. Today we'd like once more to thank Susan Hoffman for a sponsorship of Monty and Sepulveda building, uh, building Materials for the sponsorship of Nash. We'd also like to thank our donors for the following VEST sponsorships. Tracy o Yodashita, VEST sponsorship of Ziggy, Anna Conway, VEST sponsorship of Wisdom, and Thomas Family, VEST sponsorship of Justice. How about a big round of applause for all that? So norm normally, I don't know what happened today, but normally we bring a really cute puppy out and we ask for puppy raisers. So because they didn't do that and somehow that got messed up, I'm going to, I'm going to, who, who's the youngest pup we got out there? We got a young pup out there? We got, we, got, we, got, we got a young pup. There you go. You want one of those? I can make that happen. I have connections. Um, look, if you have, there's nothing, there's nothing more rewarding than uh, raising a puppy for this organization. Um, you take it home, you raise it for 18 months, we send the police, we get the dog back. Um, but, uh, but, but, but quite frankly, it changes lives. It's, you're, you're changing the lives of seven individuals here today by doing what you do. If you want to teach you know, morals and lessons to your children, this is a great way to do it, get them involved. If you just want to do something really good, and really heartwarming, and become part of our community, please step up and raise a pup. We need the help. Uh, we have puppies coming, and uh, we need puppy raisers. It's, it's one of the things we're a little bit light on right now. So keep that in mind. Finally, we have a few important events coming up that we'd like you to save the date for. We have the virtual barbecue fundraiser, Saturday, August 12th. We have puppy raiser orientation, Saturday, August 12th. We have volunteer orientation, Wednesday, August 23rd. And dinner in the dark, right here, Saturday, September 16th. 
And last but not least, we always want to give a special thanks. They're always here. National Charity League, San Fernando Valley Chapter, NCL's dedicated members are on hand at every graduation, providing service and refreshments, assisting family members and guests, and generously helping out wherever they can. How about a big round of applause for that NCL group? So last but not least, I, I just want to do a big round of applause. These, those of you that don't know it, um, the, the staff comes in, they work hard, they, they're here for like over a week work, and they work before that, but they, they're here for over a week and they spend day and night uh, in the dorms with the students. Um, this class was led by Nicole, Sonia, um, Jen, where's Jen at? And, and Cheryl, of course, is always part of it. So how about a big round of applause for all these guys? Did I miss anybody? I didn't miss anybody, right? I didn't miss anybody, right? That was everybody. And of course, the, the, the wonderful visiting angels that come in and they cook for us and they clean. They did a great job, so thank you to them, too. Um, with that, I'm going to invite Nicole up on stage. Everybody, big round of applause for Nicole. Hello. Uh, my name is Nicole Maples. I'm the manager of the Service Dog Program. Uh, I'm going to follow what Russ said. Um, I just want to give another thank you to Sonia and Jen. Uh, my Service Dog trainers, instructors, they've done a great job, not only these past 10 days, really stepping up, helping our clients, being there, instructing them and teaching them, um, but they've really done a great job making sure all the dogs were trained and ready for the clients also. So thank you, ladies. Um, we are going to now show a slideshow from class. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna invite Sonia to narrate the slideshow as we get that going. Thank you. And we start with the group picture of the service dog class number 14 that were the picture before, there were the seven students sitting on the front and the three instructors sitting, standing behind them. And the first uh, students, Beth and Opie, that is their team photo. And Opie is a black Labrador, golden cross, and Beth is kissing him while they're both sitting on a bench on campus. Next slide, this is our outing at Venice Beach. Beth and Opie, they are standing on the beach with the ocean on their back. Opie is uh, sitting between her leg in a closed position. Slide on the right, both Beth and one other student were sitting on the beach. And here we have uh, Beth and Opie again. They are on campus in our beautiful garden. Uh, OP is sitting and very proud staring at the camera and so Bess is standing behind him. This is our <laughs> official photo of OP on the left modeling our purple service dog vest and on the right puppy OP. It is cute. <laughs> and next team. We have Danielle and Lego. They are both sitting on campus on a bench. They are actually both smiling at the camera. <laughs> and our Venice Beach outing. Here we are. Uh, Danielle is sitting on the beach and not sure what's happening, but basically Lego is on her lap, kissing her all over. She's just laughing. On the other slide on the right, they are actually sitting very professionally on the beach and they are posing for the camera together. And this is on campus in our beautiful garden. They're both sitting on a bench and uh, I think initially she cue a hug to Lego, but she's also hugging him back. And official picture for Lego while Danielle is looking at him and make sure that he was all good and set correctly, wearing his purple vest and on the right, little puppy Lego picture. 
Third team, we have Drew and Iniko. Iniko is a black Labrador male. He is sitting on a bench and Drew is sitting close to him with his arm around him. Our favorite outing this week uh, at Venice Beach. Uh, Drew and Iniko are at the gift store just standing and waiting for all the ladies to finish shopping. <laughs> And on the right, we have uh, uh, Drew sitting on the beach, and Iniko is actually performing a lap on him. That is a picture taken on campus, close to our dog area. Uh, Iniko is sitting on a bench and is waving back at Drew. They're actually waving at each other. And this is official picture for Iniko wearing his purple vest and on the right, puppy Iniko. Next team, Chris and Ziggy. Ziggy is a black Labrador retriever and they're both sitting on a bench close to each other on campus. She's smiling and he is all business. He's ready to work. Our Venice Beach outing, we really like it. And uh, uh, Chris is sitting on the beach and uh, Ziggy is doing a snaggle, staring at her while she is chatting and enjoying the time with other two team. And here we are, the wave. Every class we have some cues that are more strong than others for some reason. We were waving a lot. So this is Ziggy and Chris on campus. He's sitting on a bench and they're waving at each other. And official picture for Ziggy wearing his purple vest and puppy Ziggy to the right. I can't believe he was so little. Next team photo, this is Lisa and Justice. Justice is a yellow Labrador Retriever female. They're both sitting on the bench and they're both smiling at the camera. Little picture, Venice Beach, here we are. We have uh, Lisa sitting on the beach, staring at the ocean while Justine is actually doing a hug to her. And to the right, standing with the ocean on her back, and Justice doing a close. And this is on campus in our beautiful garden. They're both sitting at the bench and they're not looking at the camera. They're just loving on each other here. <laughs> An official team picture for Justice on the left with her purple vest and baby Justice to the right. Those puppy pictures are so cute. And next team, Rudy and Wisdom. They're both sitting on a bench on campus. Rudy's smiling at the camera and Wisdom is all business ready to work. And Venice Beach picture, we did have fun. I don't know if it's as clear. We're all laughing and smiling. We have some good time, Rudy. He's sitting on the beach and Wisdom is in a close between his leg. And then we have, I don't know what they were talking about, it, but Rudy was listening to another team, Beth, and Wisdom is not impressed from their conversation. So <laughs> I'm not sure about what's going on there. <laughs> and again, I told you, uh, Wave, it was a very strong uh, task that we asked our dog this week. They are both on campus, he's sitting, um, Wisdom is sitting on a bench and they're waving at each other. And here, official picture for Wisdom on the left with this purple vest and Baby Wisdom with his little yellow puppy jacket on the right. And our next team, Shelby and Bosom. Bosom is very proudly sitting on a bench and Shelby is standing behind him on campus. Guess what? Venice Beach outing, <laughs> our favorite. They're both uh, standing on the beach, the ocean is on the back, and they're just enjoying the nice weather. And something a little different here. Good job, Shelby. <laughs> Bosom is actually performing a bow, which we call tada, on the bench, and Shelby's just enjoying him showing off. And this is the official picture for Bosom, where he is service dog purple jacket and little baby Bosom to the right. 
and to the end or the beginning of congratulations service doc class number 14. Well done. As you can see, uh, our clients have put a lot of work in to get to where they are. Um, I just want to say again, congratulations to you guys. Um, I'm really proud of you. You guys have done a lot of work to get to where you are. You've come a long way in 10 days from when you guys got here. Um, I appreciate that you guys just trusted our process and that you allowed us to really challenge all of you. Um, and you guys stepped up and put the work in and you earned it. So good job. And I really look forward to following your guys' journeys when you go home and continue to do things. So thank you. Congratulations again to them. All right, now the stars of why we're here. Um, I'm gonna start by inviting you guys up one at a time. Um, first, I'd like to invite Beth and Opie up. Uh, Beth and her autism service dog, Opie, are gonna work together to help her son, Josh. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's go. Good job. Opie was raised by Diana and Jenna along with Susie. I would like to invite them up. I'd like to thank everyone in the guide dog family for supporting us. We've raised three dogs and we're so proud of Opie because he's made, making it to his next journey of you know, being such a support and, and uh, you know, companionship and friendship with Beth and his son, her son. Um, I want to thank Susan Hoffman because she was the sponsor for Opie and as well as Susie Hutton, which I couldn't thank enough. Uh, my daughter went to college and, and I uh, just needed additional help and so Susie kicked in and was a co-raiser for Opie and just was a perfect arrangement. And, um, and certainly we have a, our puppy sitter, Dave and Diana here supporting us as well and really helped us out on many times when uh, we were out of town or just you know, needed a little rest. Um, but again, just like I sending my daughter off to college, Opie's off uh, to many more adventures and really creating a life for himself and being of service. And that's what's important. So thank you so much. Uh, Opie was trained up at Mule Creek State Prison by trainer Ramonta Forte. And we have a video of him we're gonna show. we like to talk a lot about patience so this is a good skill for everybody it's important when you're training dogs to have really good patience
Hello, Third my name is Ramon Forte, and this is Opie. I joined the POOT program here at Mule Creek back in 2019, and Opie is the third service dog I've trained since then. Opie was by far the most challenging dog I've ever trained, <laughs> and that's due to his super high level of energy. Although his high level of energy made him a challenge to train, it also made him a pleasure to work with because his energy is extremely happy and playful. In fact, Opie is the happiest dog I've ever met in my life. He loves to play, and his happy energy is very infectious. What I will remember most about Opie is how his happy, playful energy can always pick me up whenever I'm feeling down. Opie helped me to develop compassion and patience. The Pooch program in general helped me to develop my pro-social skills, taught me about responsibility, and it also provides me with an opportunity to make amends by training service dogs for the community. To whomever receives Opie, I wish you lots of luck, and I hope you and Opie can enjoy each other's company for many years to come. Thank you. Next, I'm going to invite Danielle and Lego up. Danielle works for the County and Developmental Disabilities Unit. In her free time, she enjoys helping other families like hers be able to navigate IEPs and 504 plans to improve accommodations, supports, and services for students with disabilities. She's a wife and mother of three wonderful children. Her daughter, Kaylin, is 12 years old and on the autism spectrum. Lego will assist Kaylin in mitigating behaviors, providing sensory input, bridging social interactions, and helping to navigate the community. Let's welcome Danielle. Sorry, I typed something up. So. And they said I could only have two minutes, so. Um, good morning. We were introduced to GDA TLC by an amazing friend of ours at a time where as parents we felt defeated. My husband and I had searched and tried just about every service and resource we could get our hands on to help our daughter be successful and we were at a standstill. To see our daughter in crisis made us feel so helpless, not just in that moment, but for what her future may look like. Kaylin struggles with intense behaviors due to anxiety, sensory sensory overload and the inability to express emotions or needs. She also struggles greatly with leaving our home, even to atten attend family gatherings. Not only has this caused extreme isolation to Kaylin, but to our whole family. To see my daughter have fear and anxiety about experiencing the world around her or struggle to relax in even the most familiar places is truly heartbreaking to watch. After spending the last 10 days here, which has been amazing, by the way, <laughs> and seeing what Lego can do, my family has hope again. My daughter, Kaylin, is an amazing little girl, and I know with Lego by her side, she will be given this brand new opportunity to kick down barriers and explore the world around her, maybe even have the courage to make a friend or two. I want to say thank you to our friends and family and Kaylin's team. We are so lucky to have such an amazing support system. To everyone at GDA TLC and Lego's Puppy Raisers, words cannot describe how grateful and blessed we are for the love, work, and dedication you have poured into not just Lego, but our family. The work you do is life-changing, and because of you, we have been given such an amazing gift, and I cannot wait to see what the future has in store for us. Thank you. Lego was raised by the Stapleton family, and I'd like to invite them up now. Hi, my name is Christy Stapleton. I'm representing the family today. Um, my family and I had the wonderful privilege of raising our sweet puppy, Lego. Um, we've been waiting for this day with great anticipation and are so excited to see how he's gonna change more lives ahead. 
and it was really special to meet Danielle and to hear how he's giving her family hope. So a little bit of a fun fact for you all. Uh, we were introduced to GDA uh, puppy raising program over 30 years ago by my husband's grandmother, Esther, who raised multiple guide dogs and breeders for Guide Dogs of America. Uh, back in those days, GDA sometimes sent the mother and her puppies back home with the foster family. And we even have photos of the uh, one of Esther's breeders and her litter of tiny puppies running around the house before they were old enough to be given to their new puppy raisers. When COVID happened and it looked like our lives were going to be a little different for a while, we decided it was time to take the leap and sign up to raise a puppy. As so many other puppy raisers experienced during that time, Lego was handed to us through the car window and was definitely the best takeout ever. <laughs> Lego's journey to help others began with him first helping us. Here we thought we had volunteered a raise, to raise a service dog to aid someone else. He showed my kids that they could have an impact in another person's life by loving, caring for, and training an adorable puppy. He helped them develop confidence around dogs and other animals. He cuddled with our kids, comforted them on hard days, patiently laid next to them while they read good books, and was just there for them. It was an honor to raise such an amazing dog. Lego gave us glimpses of the dog he would become even as a little puppy. He quickly learned to sit quietly in the car because he knew adventures awaited when he reached his destination. He was always eager to learn something new and loved to train. He had a natural sensitivity to people's emotions and would even check in when one of our kids sneezed or coughed just to make sure they were okay. We explored the world together through GDA outings, plenty of trips to Target, grocery stores, the beach, and hikes. He attended church regularly with us and became part of our homeschool community where he still has a huge fan base and even joined in on many of our field trips. Lego loves people and everyone he meets is his new best friend. Because of his friendly, personable, and affectionate nature, he helps several of our friends both children and adults, overcome their fear of dogs. He loves people of all ages and even had the opportunity to meet my husband's grandmother, the one who inspired us to start this journey shortly before she passed away at the age of 100. We certainly could not have done this without the amazing support from the GDA and TLC staff and community. Hannah walked us through Puppy K on Zoom and helped us figure out those fun, but sometimes chaotic early puppy days. Sheila Trustin was always there to answer any random question I might have and was instrumental in helping us navigate raising a puppy. Sheila also was our go-to puppy sitter during those first couple of months and Sheila's coffee buddy. Our Lego was Sheila's coffee, coffee buddy. Um, there were so many others who supported us, including other puppy raisers who stepped in to care for Lego when we had opportunities to travel. We always told our children that Lego was a puppy with a purpose and I'm so grateful for this opportunity we had to be part of his journey. Lego is a special part of our lives and enriched them in so many ways. It was truly a joy to raise him and he impacted so many lives along the way. We know Lego is prepared and ready to fulfill his purpose as a service dog who will love and support and change your family just as he has our own. But now he's equipped with the skills to make a difference in your lives. And for all of those out there who are considering puppy raising, Go for it. <laughs> yes, it's challenging at times, but these dogs add so much to our lives and give back in more ways than we could ever give to them. We are now part of Lego's story and all the people who have invested in him and contributing to him becoming the amazing dog that he is. I know he will keep bringing joy wherever he goes. Thank you. Lego was trained at Mule Creek State Prison by trainer Robert Mansfield, and we're going to show a video of him now. Hello, my name is Robert Mansfield, and this here is my buddy Lego, who I am very proud to have given the opportunity to train. Working with Lego has been a blessing. He is a very smart dog and made it easy to work with. He loves people, especially Miss Maples. When I first seen Lego, he was full of energy and had a big smile on his face. I would leave the room for just a couple of seconds, then return, only to see Lego wagging his tail rapidly with a big smile on his face, refusing to look anywhere else but me. We bonded quickly. 
Lego has had a positive influence in my life. When my days seemed difficult in here, Lego would just look at me and knew how to make me smile. When I felt lonely, he gave me comfort. He has truly been a blessing in my life. My hope for the family who receives Lego, that he will have that positive influence in your life and that he helps you overcome whatever challenges you may face on a daily basis. He is, a, he is fun to be around, all smiles, very loving, and I wish you get to experience that with Lego. Losing Lego is tough for me. Knowing that he can change someone else's life makes the process of losing him easy for me. I want to thank you, Miss Maples and Parisi, for giving me a chance, and to GDA TLC for trusting me with Lego. And last but not least, I want to thank all the gentlemen in the Pooch Program for your guidance, help, and support. I appreciate every one of you all. Thank you. All right, next I'd like to invite Drew and then Nico up. Drew is a father of a child with autism spectrum disorder. He's working with service dog Aniko to help his son, William. Welcome, Drew. Hi, I uh, just want to uh, uh, take the time to just thank everyone involved. This means uh, so much to my family. So thank you all very much. Aniko was raised by Shelby. We'll welcome her on stage now. Hello. So I have been puppy raising with service dog organizations since 2002, but Aniko is the first dog that I raised with GDA TLC, and it has been wonderful to become part of this community. Really, really enjoy this organization. Aniko was a lot of fun. He's a lot of fun. He has a great spirit, full of life, one of my favorites. And Drew, I wish you and William and the rest of your family many happy times together. Aniko was trained at Mule Creek State Prison also by trainer Orvin Leonel. And we are going to show a video from him now. This friend over here is Iniko. Before I started, I want to thank Ms. Naples, Ms. Parisi, uh, for allowing me into the program, and most important, to work with Iniko. Uh, when I first started working with Iniko, I made myself doubt about what I was doing. But that was my lack of confidence and responsibility trying to talk me out of it. But as the time passed, Iniko gave me the confidence and taught me the responsibility that I need to. There's many things that I will never forget about him. His positive energy and unconditional love taught me what really matters in life. His eager to learn taught me a lot of patience. His ability to, his ability to do things made me believe in myself, even times when I did, didn't have no idea what I was doing. He will always help me to figure things out. Now that he's moving on to his new family, I hope they're able to see and enjoy his love, loyalty, and positive energy. I know that he will be more than a service dog for all of you. All right, next up is Chris and Ziggy. Chris is a medically retired Army veteran that served as a combat medic for eight years. She's also a former puppy raiser of five dogs. Chris is looking forward to getting her master's degree with her service dog by her side that will help assist her in managing PTSD symptoms. Everybody.
After multiple incidents of sexual assault on a deployment in 2018, when I returned home, I found myself perpetually nervous and anxious. The feeling followed me everywhere. Hypervigilance, panic attacks, vivid flashbacks, and night terrors had me wanting to end my life. When I was medically discharged from the Army in January 2021, I didn't have much to live for. Little did I know my future service dog, Ziggy, was born just two weeks later. Although I've come a long way in my healing journey, there are times when I still need help. Enter Ziggy, an amazingly handsome boy who is extremely attentive to my needs when working and when off duty is a total goofball. <laughs> the day I met Ziggy, I instantly fell in love with him. <clears throat> I cried for quite a while. <laughs> Ziggy knows he's special and I will always treat him that way. Ziggy will provide assistance to me during PTSD episodes, counterbalance and retrieval for my vertigo and back injury, and most of all, constant companionship. This organization is amazing. The overall theme I found here is love. The love from a puppy raiser, the love from an incarcerated trainer, and the love from a GDA TLC trainer. I feel all of it when I hold Ziggy's leash and he looks up at me. To all of you, please know I will let him know how loved he is every day. And although I can never repay you, I hope, I hope knowing he's going to live his best life gives you a form of solace. Thank you to Ziggy's puppy raiser. <laughs> Your selflessness is changing lives, and my gratitude is endless. I'm forever thankful for this amazing dog, and I promise he will be absolutely spoiled. The trainers, Sonia, Nicole, and Jen, your work here is nothing short of incredible. And I couldn't be more thankful for your time. Your passion and dedication are truly inspiring. Thank you for your support and encouragement. I feel absolutely prepared for the streets of New York City. I'm ready to go home with Ziggy and eat our porterhouse steak. <laughs> To Ziggy's incarcerated trainer, thank you for providing him with the tasks I will use to keep me grounded and feel safe. We will be pursuing a master's degree together, and I'm confident we will get it done. To my classmates, you all are the definition of resilient, and I hope you go home and achieve your goals with the help of your new service dog. Thank you for all your support here, and it was a pleasure getting to know you all. To anyone watching this that is thinking of applying for a service dog through GDA TLC, do it. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Listen, uh, we're free because... <laughs> so from GDA, TLC, for your service and all you do, not just, uh, not just giving you the gift there, but we also like to present you with this flag of freedom. Thank you. And thank you for all you did. All right? Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> get a picture. Come on over here. Ziggy was raised by the Yoshida family. I invite them up now. Hi. Uh, Ziggy was our first puppy, and when you find out you're getting a puppy, they ask you what your preferences are. And the only thing we asked for was for a calm puppy because our dog at home is super mellow. Um, I guess that one of his first nicknames was Taz, should have been our first clue that, that we got the exact opposite. <laughs> and I later learned that that was actually on purpose. Um, I remember the puppy drive through you know, COVID, and being so excited. And then we get home, and that night, after maybe about the third t trip out carrying him to go get busy, reality hit, and I start to question my choices. Um, but it's probably a good thing that GDA doesn't check up on you right away because by the time that they do, you're in love and you're in it for the long haul. So um, we quickly saw that Ziggy is smart, fearless, and loves to learn. He also loves to watch other dogs on TV. Um, whether it was Hooch in the movie Turner and Hooch, a GDA graduation watched on Facebook while at work with me on a rare Saturday, or the advanced training videos, COVID again, um, he would watch intently until he turned it off. 
Another thing about Ziggy is he loved our dog Finn. Ziggy was always where Finn was. Do we need two dog beds in the living room? Nope. What for? Ziggy would always go to whichever bed Finn was already on. They were always together, and that actually made it kind of hard to find a puppy pick of just Ziggy, because <laughs> they were always together. And even though Finn acted like Ziggy was his annoying little brother, um, and we know that he loved and misses him a lot. Whenever, someone appro whenever we approach someone about puppy raising, the first thing they're more than likely to say is, oh, I could never give them up. And while it's hard, very hard, <laughs> um, I always let them know that going to a graduation and seeing the difference these dogs can make in someone's life makes it a little easier. And we can already see that Chris and Ziggy are the perfect team. So, um, we want to thank the Long Beach Group and Nancy and Brian for helping us through this adventure, and also the GDA trainers, Hannah, Mindy, Jamie, and Carol Ann. Um, we are proud to have been a small part in helping this amazing boy fulfill his destiny. And we wish Chris and Ziggy all the best, and look forward to um, obsessing over every Ziggy picture she posts. <laughs> hey, thank you. Ziggy was also trained at Meal Creek State Prison by trainer Byron Fairbanks, and we're going to have a video from him now. Hi, I'm Byron, and this is Ziggy. I've spent the last 11 months with Ziggy, and he's been my best friend. He was easy to train. I think I've learned just as much about dog training from Ziggy as he learned from me. Um, Saying goodbye to my best friend is the hardest part of it all. What I'll always remember about Ziggy is his unconditional love and the way he would look at me with those beautiful eyes, so eager to please. He always kept me focused. I hope you will enjoy Ziggy as much as I have, and he will be your new best friend. Thank you. Next team I'm going to invite up is Lisa and Justice. <laughs> Lisa is retired from the Air Force Reserves. She deployed in 2002 in support of Operation Enduring Freedom. Lisa currently works providing medical care to high school, special education, and alternative education students. Lisa was also a strong advocate for her mother, who recently passed away on Christmas Day from ALS Lou Gehrig's disease, followed by the passing of her sweet fur baby from cancer. Lisa states she's very blessed to be part of the GDA TLC family. Welcome, Lisa. My name is Lisa, and this is Justice. I was so blessed to be given this opportunity to come to TLC, Guide, and Loving, Guide Dogs of America, to train for a service dog. I would like to thank her puppy raiser, Jenny, Jerry, and Trayson, for doing a wonderful job in working with her. The trainers here are excellent, and I would like to thank each one of them who helped me through this training, Jennifer, Nicole, and Sonia. I appreciate your patience, caring attitude, and your guidance. I would also like to thank Cheryl and the staff who helped me coordinate and process my application, and Yvette, who made our reservations to come here, and Mr. Gatlin, the president, because without this organization, I wouldn't be here. I would like to thank the wonderful cafeteria staff, Chef Louis, Maisha and Chris, they made sure we were well taken care of, accommodated, and we had great meals. After one day of bonding with justice, Jennifer came into my room, and she told me she had something to give me. She gave me a cross and told me that her trainer from prison had bought it for justice, and justice had worn it the whole time he trained her. I would like to thank him for doing that. Thank you. And giving me hope. 
This past year, I suffered the loss of my mom on Christmas Day, followed by the loss of my sweet fur baby. When I received this cross, it was a sign from both of them that they are with me and they will carry me through this process. And Justice and I will make a great team and they will be guiding me and leading me. In closing, thank you again, TLC, Guide Dogs of America, for this opportunity. And now Justice is going to wave goodbye to you. So this dog better like the cold because it's going to Buffalo, New York, all right? So we'll see. I think the next time we see it, I'll probably double the coat of fur that it's got right now. And we're looking forward to hearing all the great stories. But we want to take a moment and just thank you for your service. It's because of you we have freedom. So thank you. Justice was raised by the Thomas family, so we're going to invite them up now. Hi, everybody. And now my glasses are fogged. <laughs> so there's that. Well, um, I know I'm only given um, two minutes. And I tend to talk fast when I'm nervous, so I'm hoping that that will cancel each other out. <laughs> because I have an awful lot of people to thank. <clears throat> Starting with Yvette and her dog Journey, who was in training when we got Justice. So I could not have the name Journey I, that I really wanted. Uh, so we went with Justice, and she embodies that name. She became that name. It fits her perfectly. I see the sign out there <laughs> for Justice. Thank you, Monica. <laughs> And next, I want to thank Stephanie for handing Justice to us through the car window and making that squeaky noise to get Justice to look at her for our go-home picture. And that began the start to the epic head tilt that Justice is known for. And I'd like to thank our area leaders, Pam and Bob and um, Suzanne and Jeff, for the endless hours that they dedicate to GDA and for all their support and guidance to us puppy raisers, to answering all our texts and all the questions that I have, which is usually a lot. To the amazing and patient GDA staff, from, from the kennel techs, to the vet department, the boarding department, to the nursery where it all began, thank you for taking care of Justice and all the puppies and answering, again, my endless questions. And always with a smile, the staff here are so kind to everyone, I just, I, it's a theme, right? Everybody is so kind here. Because of how good the training staff is, I absolutely knew that Justice was going to make it. There was no if, ands, or buts about it. And so thank you to Cheryl somewhere, Cheryl and Gretchen and Jen and all the TLC staff for helping Justice fulfill her destiny. A special shout out to her inmate trainer for getting her to the finish line. Lisa, thank you for your service. Meeting you today was, was amazing. Seeing Justice's bond to you, she's not taken her eyes off of you this entire time, and, and that makes me feel good that she's gonna be, she's gonna take care of you and you're gonna take care of her. <clears throat> also, Lisa, um, whether you know it or not, Justice has a huge family, and this is her family. So you didn't just get Justice and us, you've got a whole, a huge family. Lastly, I would like to thank Justice's village. It, it's big. Um, from my co-raiser, my son, Trayson, I could not have done it without you, to my family, who is so open and welcoming to all of the puppies that we puppy sit, and there are a lot. They're like, bring it, bring it, all the dogs. Although my husband usually wants to keep them all. Um, <laughs> we have to give them back. 
I literally can't see because my glasses are <laughs> messed up. Um, to my friends and fellow puppy raisers, thanks for being a sounding board, answering all my questions, and for all the puppy play dates that were amazing. Justice has a lot of friends and we had a lot of play dates. Lawrence's are out there somewhere. Her go to college party was amazing. And to the puppy posse, come for the puppies and stay for the people. Thank you. Justice was trained at Richard J. Donovan Correctional Facility by trainer Justin Kirby. We're going to have a video now from him. There we go. All right, go ahead. Hi. My name is Justin Kirby. I'm with TLC and GDA. Uh, I am in the Hooch program here in prison, unfortunately. But fortunately, um, I have Justice who came here in March, had her for a little over a year now. And um, I'm grateful to have her. I am, uh, I will remember. Most about her is the first day she got here, she was crazy and sporadic, and she jumped on everybody and lunch for everything, and she reminded me of myself because uh, I was impulsive and and I uh, didn't know how uh, to take uh, life one step at a time, which is what happened with her. We had to go one step at a time. Um, how is my dog? How she affected me in a positive way is that she is the first thing that I have ever seen through, um, that I have ever, uh, uh, completed. I will hope and wish for her client that, uh, just knowing that she will see them through and she will meet them wherever they are. Next, I'm going to invite Rudy and Wisdom up. Rudy served in the Army for 14 years, both on active duty and the reserves. He separated in 2012 at the rank of Sergeant First Class. He served two combat tours in Iraq as military police, where he was awarded a Bronze Star. Let's welcome Rudy. I'm not a talker, but thank you. Rudy, we are here today because of your service. We are honored to serve you now. Thank you. Wisdom was raised by Anna. I invite her up. No? A whole world. Okay, I'm old school. I have a piece of paper. Um, the GDA seed was planted many moons ago when I was at the Torrance Farmers Market and saw a little girl and her mom walking with a puppy wearing a vest that said puppy in training. After I lost my adoring 12-year-old chocolate lab and my last two children moved out, I was looking for a dog fix. And I needed to be adored unconditionally again, so I finally called GDA. Um, I went to the dog website, Guide Dog TLC website, filled out an application, had a visit from our wonderful area leader, and then waited for GDA to call me about a puppy. I was so excited when I got the phone, Call that I was getting a puppy from the W leader and they needed a W name. I spent a lot of time watching the puppy cam. I love that puppy cam. And I get really upset when it's not working. Um, <laughs> for clues as to which puppy I was getting and to see if I would get a hint about names from watching them. My four adult children texted me long lists of W names, but it was my favorite aunt who made the best suggestion. She told me the puppy must be smart to be a service dog, so name him Wisdom. 
My husband was very skeptical about my commitment to a puppy. He fell in love the moment he held the tiny ball of fur when I brought him home. Wisdom reminded me of my children. He brought chaos, lots of love, laughter, and a bit of cussing to our house. There was actually a lot of cussing before that, but... Um, <laughs> Wisdom is so smart, loving, loyal, adoring, intuitive, and curious. He has an incredible nose and was always able to find the kibble that rolled under the couch. He loves to run and play. He gallops like a graceful racehorse when he runs. He loves everyone. He wiggles his whole body to greet you. The most important thing was that he was the perfect, constant companion and was eager to go anywhere I wanted to go. When I got... No, when I got the notice it was time to turn him in for formal training, my initial reaction was try to figure was tried to figure out how to untrain him in the 30 days he was, I had with him, I had left with him. Wisdom was the best behaved dog I had ever lived in my house, so the thought of giving him back was a challenge. But GDA TLC made it so easy to get him to that point. I finally came to the realization that he would not be happy unless he had a job. Just like I hoped my kids would grow up to be doctors and lawyers and such, I wanted Wisdom to be a PTSD dog. My wish came true and I was so happy for Wisdom and Rudy. I know that wisdom is going to be a great companion because it comes to him naturally. I wish you, Rudy, and wisdom the very best that your partnership has to offer. Thanks. Wisdom was trained at Mule Creek State Prison by Ivan Gonzalez. We're going to see a video from him now. Good morning. My name is Ivan Gonzalez, and the thing I will remember about my service dog, Wisdom, is when we began to train. It was a little difficult at first, though, when we bonded, that allowed us to cooperatively flow with the current that led to overcoming obstacles. With the training relationship I have with this good dog, Wisdom taught me to be more creative, to be more in touch with my patients, tolerance, and open-heartedness. This experience in the Pooch program has increased my understanding humbleness, and self-awareness, which has also reinforced my mental and emotional stability. This experience has strengthened my positivity and hope for a better future as a law-abiding, productive citizen. I hope my hard work with this little buddy here, with my little buddy here, is a great service to his new handler. Wisdom is a real, adorable, friendly, and quite a cool dog to be around. You will enjoy his companionship, his warmth, and the service he has to offer you. We both made a pact to move forward with a purpose. With this fact, I wish you and wisdom the best. I'd like to thank Ms. Maples and Ms. Parisi for giving me the opportunity to participate, learn, and earn what the Pooch Program has to offer. It was indeed a pleasure in working with wisdom. By obtaining this marketable skill, I most certainly have learned more than just about training my tender, loving canine. You're welcome, and may peace be with you. Next up, we've got Shelby and Boson. Shelby is a seasoned mother of a child on the autism spectrum. Her service dog, Boson, benefits Colton, and together they make a positive impact spreading autism awareness and independence for better quality of life. The team works to mitigate maladaptive behaviors, provide sensory input, and help navigate the community. Let's welcome Shelby. Um, I just want to say thank you to everyone. Um, sorry, I wasn't planning to say much, but um, our family feels so blessed to be here, and it brings great comfort to know that um, <clears throat> Bozen will help assist our son out in the community in a more safely manner. He elopes a lot. We are a very active family and we love to go camping and amusement parks and, um, and he gets anxiety in big crowds and um, to know that he will still be able to go and enjoy and still be included in family outings um, brings a lot of peace to me and my husband and um, Bosun's energy fits right in with 
all four of my kids. We have three boys and one girl, and um, so he will get lots of love and snuggles. And thank you. Boson was raised by the Ugarts family um, with big help from all the girls. So let's go ahead and invite them up. Hi, I'm Hattie, and I, along with my family, were Boson's puppy raisers. Uh, Boson was our fourth puppy. Shout out to Captain and Lori, who are here right now. But Boston was particularly special to me because he was the first dog um, for which I was really able to take uh, a lead role in the training. And after all of the hours of incessant uh, cries for a puppy, my parents finally gave in with the contingent that my sisters and I had to take um, some more responsibility with him. And I was so ready for the job. I had gone through the process before, and I was really just excited for my chance to prove that I could raise one of these dogs. And while, of course, there were many surprises along the way, like having to become a puppy social media manager in addition to a trainer, <laughs> I have had so much fun training Bosun, and it has truly been an honor getting to watch and help him become the incredible dog that he is. Um, I am so grateful for all of the companionship and connection I have had with Bosun. He is such a friendly and lovable dog, uh, but I'm even more grateful to now see him bring that companionship to a new family. Bosun and I are kind of in similar spots of our life right now. We are both recent graduates and looking towards the future. And while I have all of the usual nerves about taking those next steps, I look to Bosun and I know that he is ready to fearlessly enter the next chapter of his life. And I am so inspired by him. I have learned so much from him and I'm ready to take all of those lessons and all of the wonderful, slobbery memories uh, with him uh, for the rest of my life. Uh, I could not be more honored to stand on the stage and get to claim any part of Bosun's achievements. Thank you to GDA, TLC, RJD San Diego, uh, Faye and Gary Waldman, Bosun's amazing sponsors and really just everyone else who makes this remarkable organization possible. And to Shelby and Colton and your whole family, I hope that Bosun brings you all of the joy and laughter and love that he has brought us. Uh, I am so excited that he is entering your life and I wish you many amazing adventures to Target and Disneyland and wherever else you go, but thank you. Boson was trained at Richard J. Donovan Correctional Facility uh, by trainer John Agosta. So we're going to see a video from him now. Hello, my name is uh, Agosta, John. Um, this is Boson. And I've been in the program for seven plus years, seen many dogs graduate and other ones adopted. Uh, this is a great program. It's Boson has helped me uh, many days. Uh, he's a happy dog, high spirited, and cannot love him. This is the best. He had a, he's the best dog. That's what I'll probably remember most from about him. Is his uh, just makes you happy. He's, he's just so super wiggly, and he's gonna make wherever he goes, facility dog or service dog, he's gonna make a. That, that client's very happy. Um, he's affected me very, every day, very positive. When I'm uh, just down, I'm a veteran, off from the army. So I have PTSD and he just makes it go away. I can't explain it, but he just does. Uh, he's a great dog. Um, but I hope and wish for him and the client 
It's just to have a happy life and this is, he will do great things for you. I'll miss him, but also look forward to the next daughter I get. Just keep uh, giving and back to the community. Thank you very much. Appreciate Ms. Chomas, Ms. Herman, Ms. Naples for everything, for uh, guidance and uh, wisdom and training. I just uh, appreciate them very much, this program very much. Thank you. Awesome. All right, let's one more big round of applause for our new teams. And with that, I'm going to invite Cheryl back up on the stage. Congratulations, Class 14. Continue to work hard and keep in touch. We're excited to see where your adventures take you. You may be excused. Everybody else, please stay seated while class dismisses themselves.